Welcome to another episode of The, the Epic, Epic Family, Family Road Trip. checking out an old abandoned prison. Should be pretty interesting. This place used to be only accessible by train back in the day. It would have been uh, one of those places you wouldn't want to get put, not that you ever want to get put in prison, but just extra because you're way out in the wilderness. There's really no escape except for into a bear's dinner. But it's uh, long since been abandoned and there's a road that leads into it now so we can access it by vehicle. It should be pretty interesting to see. There's definitely more about this prison that we'll uh, have to talk about later on when we find it, if we make it to it. Alright, so today we're exploring um, a little abandoned town Actually, it's been completely removed of Burwash, Ontario. It shows still buildings here on the map and buildings up here, which is behind us, but it looks more like a gravel pit. And back there, it's just flat fields where they removed all the buildings. Now, this town, this whole town was put here in 1914 when they built a correctional facility or a jail. Looks like GPS uh, coordinates say over here. So that's a bit of a, a drive and there's, there's a few trails. Well, let's look. Yeah, it looks like some trails going in there. So we're gonna we're gonna take some we're gonna try to find a trail and get all the way up there to where the actual jail itself is, and uh, you can see the building on the map here, and hopefully it's still standing. Um, they decommissioned it back in 1975. It held about a thousand inmates, and this was so remote back in the day that it was just the best place to put a, a prison where they weren't worried of anyone escaping. Um, before 1969 or 1970, then they put in the little two-lane highway 60 or 637. Before that, the only way to get to this prison was by railway. It's shut down, but if the building's still standing, it might be neat to take a little walk through it. And uh, in the meantime, we'll have some fun exploring this little place called Burwash, Ontario. So we came up the road here, the trail, and it's it's been blocked off completely and there's a railway track so um, that looks like it used to be the road because it continues on the other side of this uh, of the railway but there's no way for us to go across. You can see how they built it up here. Thank you. 
Um, so there's uh, anywhere from 180 to 820 uh, inmates here. And the whole idea of this place is they, ha they call it the industrial farm. They had um, the inmates working, so it was kind of a, they figured they'd benefit from the exercise and the skills they learned while working outside here. So it's kind of a neat idea. Um, so yeah, it's all abandoned and all cleaned up now. There is still apparently the building, the original jail building, but we can't get to it, unfortunately, at least from, well, at least by Jeep. Looks like you can stop by the railway track and then hike in, and we might do that one day, but we don't have time today. Um, that being said, all through here where they've removed the buildings and everything, there's dispersed campsites. So if you're ever in this area, Burwash, Ontario, what used to be Burwash, Ontario, south of Sudbury, and you need a camp spot, there's lots in here, some beautiful lakes and a really nice spot. That's not even a steering stabilizer, that is a control arm. Yeah, it's a... Uh... Wow. Oh wow. The full control arm. We've uh, rattled the bolt loose off the, uh, the control arm here, so we're going to have to order that in. That's no good. Or maybe pick one up in town with the other Jeep, but I don't think we should be driving this too far. So we were going to head up to get uh, fish and chips and show you guys Killarney, the town of Killarney, but we're going to have to head back early tonight. try to fix, temporarily fix uh, the problem we're having underneath. We found a couple of bolts on the island. Yeah, thankfully we have a supply of things there because there's no hardware store nearby, that's for sure. Or no uh, auto parts store. So um, we've got a couple of bolts, different sizes. We're gonna give a try uh, just getting them in there for now. That should be good enough to get us to drive an hour to uh, Napa and get the proper bolt. So that's what we're going to do. Let's see if we can get that in. All right, so that's how she looks. It just fits. It's not the proper one for sure, but we'll go slow and hopefully that'll get us to the nearest auto parts store to get the proper bolt. With all the roads, bumpy roads and off roads we're going on, we have to get in the habit of checking all these a little more often than we have been tightening things up. And I think it would be a great idea when we go buy that bolt, we buy a bunch uh, so we have a stock. A bunch of you have been asking <clears throat> about the cracks on our windshield. We have one here on Worsley and on Vandy. It's uh, spread across the bottom of the whole windshield and both. Bandy's needs to be replaced and Worsley's could probably be repaired. But the reason we haven't done it yet is because, uh, as you see, take a look up here, we're, um, a lot of the roads in the north here are under construction and certainly um, as soon as we fix it, we probably end up uh, having to replace it again. Because we have rocks coming out of trucks and bouncing off our windshields constantly. So. That's what we're doing. Wait until this gets paved until it's the most of the construction is over and then we'll get them fixed. Just came in here to um, Napa Auto Pro. These guys uh, fix a lot of our stuff, uh, both in BC, all across the country, actually. Canada and the US. Uh, no matter where you go, you're going to find a Napa and they're reasonably priced, they take good care of us and they're just popping. They found the, that bolt, so they've got the proper bolt and order a couple of them and uh, they're just going to pop it in there, make sure everything else is tight, take a look around and uh, then we'll be on our way.
I think I'll make a, some potatoes with the pork. Some are in harvest, so nothing like growing your own and harvesting and enjoying together. What do you think, Lando? Hmm? What do you think? Not bad. While Pete and Pete are away finding parts for the Jeep, um, it's a warm one today. And we're just kind of trying to wrap up uh, everything here around the cabin and start shutting it down. We have some really cool adventures coming up, so I'm excited about that. But in the meantime, I'm cooking the pork butt and the cast iron using the shank. And uh, hopefully that'll be ready by the time they get back. But right now I'm painting the sauna up uh, another building. We try and paint a building or two or three every summer for the past like I don't know two years I guess but um, just to keep things maintained and fixed up but man I'm loving it here but so excited to be back on the road. I think the the trails are calling it will be super nice and uh, can't wait to take you along and share our adventure with you. In the meantime we need to rotate tires and do little fixes on the jeeps but um yeah it's been nice there's lando soaking in the sun but uh yeah so i'm just gonna try out this i've never done a pork uh about on a cast iron but um should be really good this will take about hmm, a couple hours so i have it on a little heat the fire's not really going too strong which is good so i can uh, hopefully it'll last for about four hours or so so we'll be good.
sun is hot, the water is perfect, and hopefully we can get some good time in here just chilling, relaxing, enjoying what's left of our summer. Hope you enjoyed this week's video as you saw here things don't always go as planned um, we had a little breakdown it changed our plans completely but if you're flexible and you go with the flow you can end up having an absolutely beautiful time regardless of what happened so uh, we enjoyed a beautiful meal and then uh, sunset which is uh, one of the things about up here you know we get these amazing sunrises and gorgeous sunsets almost every day and uh, we can never get too many of them. Certainly don't ever want to take them for granted. Yeah, so we're planning on closing up the cabin a bit early this year. Normally we stay well into November, but um, the downside to staying up here is we can get quite comfortable and time passes by very quickly because it's such an amazing place to be. But we have on our list so many places we want to explore within Canada. And so, uh, we feel if we pack things up and hit the trail, um, hit the road, we're going to be able to see places like BC in the summer. We've seen it in the spring and fall year after year, but we always come up here in the summer, so we miss that. So what's left of the summer, we're going to do some exploring in the west coast of Canada. Uh, we did have a big plan to go up what's called the Trans-Taiga, T-A-I-G-A. Um, the Trans-Taiga is way up in northern Quebec. And uh, one of you, our, our uh, followers on YouTube, suggested that. And so we did a quick search. It looked like Quebec had opened up. And so we were really excited, started uh, making our plans. And then we thought uh, to do one final search on the website and that particular area, what they're calling the James Bay region, and above that is uh, Nunavik, Nunavik um, are still closed down. So even though they're extremely remote, in fact, that road is uh, considered the most remote road in Eastern North America and definitely the most far, the farthest north. It's closed down because there's a Cree Indian population up there and they're worried about uh, outsiders coming in and, and whatever. So, and I understand that. So uh, unfortunately that's off our list, uh, even though we were probably gonna be headed up there right now um we've had to change our plans again so it looks like the entire east is a write-off for this year so we're heading west before anything happens to that so um thanks for watching a huge shout out and thank you to our patreon family you guys are helping to keep the epic family road trip on the air and we really appreciate it um if you are interested in some effort epic family road trip merchandise like the hat i'm wearing uh get get on our store it's effortstore.com and uh, pick some stuff up. That too helps support our channel. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. That's, uh, we're nearing, we're at 94,000 or so, and uh, we have a big goal to hit 100,000 uh, subscribers, and you guys are getting us towards that goal, and we thank you for that. So if you haven't subscribed, because about 70% on most, most videos of the people watching are not subscribed to the, to the channel. So there's a, uh, yeah, a bunch of you just hit that subscribe button and if you hit the bell, you'll be notified of every video that we post. And you do not want to miss the videos coming up in the weeks ahead. And in the meantime, we'll see you down the road.